The US state of North Carolina is about to vote on a bill that would make it illegal for activists to go undercover to film animal abuse in farms and abattoirs. Three states have already passed a version of the law. Ten more have tried and, fail, tried and failed so far this year. The US moves are being closely watched by the Australian agriculture industry. West Australian Liberal Senator Chris Back is drafting similar regulations. The so-called AGAG laws are being fought by, hard by American animal rights groups who say they give a green light to corporate farms to do whatever they please without scrutiny. Ben Knight reports and a warning this story does contain some disturbing images. This video was filmed two years ago with a hidden camera on a turkey farm in North Carolina. It shows horrific cruelty. Birds with broken limbs, rotting eyes and open sores being kicked, thrown and beaten to death with metal rods. It was shot by this woman. We'll call her Sarah. She spent weeks undercover posing as a farm worker, secretly shooting the abuse that was happening in front of her. Your stomach drops. There's really no way to prepare yourself for it. You can watch other people's footage, you know, you can steal yourself, but the first time you watch somebody bashing an animal's head in, it's, you can actually hear me on tape a couple of times taking a sharp breath in, like. <gasps> Five workers on this farm were eventually convicted of animal cruelty. I would say that's the most significant investigation I've ever done. It led to the first ever uh, cruelty prosecution for poultry in the United States, which is legally groundbreaking and precedent setting. It's something that I'm very proud of. The farm is owned by the Butterball Company, the world's biggest turkey producer and based right here in North Carolina. Senator Harrington, for the purpose of your eyes. So perhaps it's no surprise that this is the latest American state to consider bringing in a law that would make undercover investigations like this one illegal. It's a perfectly good bill that makes perfectly good sense. Senator Brent Jackson is one of the sponsors of the Commerce Protection Bill, which has a provision that would make it a crime to lie on a job application about what you're really there for. For example, planning to secretly film cruelty to animals. It's all about transparency. Senator Robinson, what first you rise? You know, if you're an employee and you're applying to me as an employer, you should tell me the truth of why you're coming to work. And it's to be there to do a, a day's work for a day's wage, to provide for your family, and to do a good job for the employer, and not to be there for some alternative motive to go out and destroy the employer. And it's really not about transparency. Matt Dominguez is a lobbyist for the U.S. Humane Society. He's been working the halls of the North Carolina State House trying to stop this bill from getting up. If this bill passes, essentially you're creating a safe haven in North Carolina for people to abuse animals. Animal abuse. Cruelty. Neglect. This law exists already in three American states. Ten other states have tried to do the same this year. All of them have failed after heavy lobbying by the Humane Society. But the society is so worried about North Carolina, it spent $50,000 on a TV campaign against the bill. Tell your legislators vote no on SB 648 and stop the animal cruelty cover-up. North Carolina Chamber of Commerce is one of the most powerful lobbyists in the building. And that's why the poultry industry, after an investigation into the Butterball facility here in North Carolina, that's why they went to the North Carolina Chamber of Commerce to push the bill. Agriculture is far and away the biggest industry in North Carolina. It's worth more than $700 billion to this state. And Butterball is one of the stars of the industry. It runs the world's biggest turkey plant here. That plant is supplied by farms like the one exposed by Sarah and her hidden camera. Well, this is it. This is the Hoke County Butterball turkey farm where those hidden camera images were taken and where people who worked here were convicted of mistreating them. Well, unfortunately, this is as far as we can go. Uh, we have been talking to the company. We've been requesting to be able to go inside with our camera and film, see if anything's improved, mainly to see if the birds are in any better condition than they were in those videos that you've just seen. But the answer's been a very flat no, which makes you wonder that if this law does go through the North Carolina State House, how is anyone ever supposed to find out 
if anything's being done differently in there. If we had got in and filmed anything untoward, the terms of the bill mean that we would have to hand it over to the authorities within 48 hours or face prosecution ourselves. That's an idea that some Australian politicians would like to see happen in Australia. Brent Jackson says it makes good sense. If there is a bad pro problem going on out there that we're unaware of, we want to know about it. But we want it handled through the proper law enforcement authorities and not put on YouTube or, or put on the evening news before anyone has a chance in, with law enforcement to investigate and make sure that it is actually going on. But in the Butterball case, one of those convicted was a senior official of the Department of Agriculture who tipped off the company that it was about to be raided. Now, four men were convicted of criminal cruelty to animals. Critics say the law is designed to protect corporations and their executives. I know that the men who were convicted of cruelty are the low-hanging fruit, and Butterball knows it. Typically, what builds the case in the strongest way is staying in a facility long enough to prove that the manager knows about it, the owner knows about it. The bill is due to hit the floor of the North Carolina Senate in this session. This bill has been turned into an animal bill, but that was not the intent. It's about proprietary information, whether that be livestock or whether that be recipes for Kentucky Fried Chicken. These industries have already proven that they're incapable of self-regulation, and we're one of the only checks against these industries. And with us being silenced, I think that there's no telling what could be occurring behind those closed doors.